Hello everyone. This video we are going to talk about Seagate free agent desk external USB 2.0 hard drive disassemble and repair. This is the PN number for this model hard drive. You can use this PN number to identify this hard drive to look for parts to repair this hard drive. This is the hard drive inside the external case. The hard drive's model number can be used to identify this hard drive to look for parts for repair purpose. This is the PCB board on the hard drive. The PCB board number is used to identify the PCB board to look for a donor board to fix or replace the PCB board. The PCB board number is on the green PCB board. It's uh, a, li a little bit too small to see. You have to take a close look to find out what the number really is. This is the SATA to USB converter inside of the external case. If this one is damaged, you may take the hard drive out to put the hard drive into another external case or hook the hard drive directly to your computer. This is the bottom part of the external case. There are four screws on each corner. They screw the bottom part and the side part together. That is why you cannot open the external case from the bottom side. This picture shows the screws and shock absorber on the hard drive. First, there are four bigger screws on the hard drive. Second, there are four shock absorber on the top of the screw. Three, there are three small screws on the hard drive protection shell. Put the first screw in. Put the rubber shock absorber on the top of the screw, put it into the USB adapter, okay. put the hard drive protection shell, the top piece on the top, keep the wire in the slot and uh, put it on the top piece and uh, line up with the three small screw holes here and put it in. Put the small three screws in the screw hole and then tighten them. After screwing these three screws, we put on the shock absorber on the top on each screw. Then uh, put the hard drive into the case. Then line up, put the wire into the 
wire slot. Put the case on the top. Drop them. Hello everyone, this video is going to talk about how to repair Seagate Barracuda hard drive by replacing the controller board. Seagate Barracuda hard drive PCB board compatibility criteria 1. Same hardware model number 2. Same PCB board number 3. Same PCB board firmware this is the hard drive model number. This picture shows where to find the board number. Go to www.hdd-parts.com In the search box, input the board number space and the model number. Then click on search. Now you find the board for your hard drive, please read the description and follow the instructions. Take off the breadboard. You need to fill a circuit board from your transfer form. The form can be found in the item description. Please print out and fill the form and ship it together with the board. This is how the clients ship their PCB board to us. First, print out our mailing address. Second, their mailing address. Third, print out the firmware transfer form ship together with the board. Four, customs declaration form. Item name, bad hard drive PCB board. Item value, $5. Step 3. Controller Board BIOS Transfer and also called as Controller Board BIOS Swap. It means to transfer the Controller Board BIOS from the original board to a good donor board. Why do we have to do the Controller Board BIOS Transfer? Because for this model hard drives, one controller board includes two parts, hardware and controller board BIOS. The controller board BIOS includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. This picture illustrated how the controller board BIOS transfer works. On the left hand side is the original bad board. On the right hand side is the donor good board. The controller board BIOS transfer means to transfer the controller board BIOS from the original bad board to the good donor board. Regarding the hard drive controller board BIOS transfer, we want to point out the following things. 1. We can do the controller board BIOS transfer from the physically damaged controller board, like burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our controller board BIOS transfer success rate is more than 95%. 2. Controller board BIOS transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The controller board BIOS transfer is to transfer the controller board BIOS from one board to another board. So we can make two identical controller boards. Hard drive firmware upgrade 
is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another controller board. We cannot make two identical controller boards by hard drive firmware upgrading. Three, we do the controller board BIOS transfer for our clients for free. How we ship the donor board to our clients? We offer worldwide free shipping. We put the board in a professional box. We use the static bag to protect the board. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.